Hi, new viewer. Welcome to those Brooklyn stairs. Today we're going to be spending some time with these dilapidated stairs, and we're even going to meet the man who's going to fix them. These stairs have certainly seen better days. To me, stairs aren't just stairs. Each one is a small, intimate floor that you have to stand on briefly in order to get to where you want to go. Are the new viewers gone yet? Good morning. It's Thursday, April 27th. Knowledge needs a haircut. Faux hawk or mohunk? You decide not really. Join me as we clap every time the baby makes a caca. Condoleezza Rice and Donald Rumsfeld pictured here making fun of an overweight person made an unannounced visit to Iraq to bolster the emerging leadership and to suggest that the U.S. military operations are working seamlessly during the transition to a permanent government. Meanwhile, the Washington Post reports that the cost of the Iraq war will soar to $320 billion after the expected passage next month of an emergency spending bill. That number means nothing to me except that the TV tells me that with the same amount of money I could buy 320 billion double cheeseburgers. Why be fiscally responsible when the human brain of the constituents can't possibly handle such ridiculously large numbers? Amanda Congdon likes numbers. How do we pay for this war? The government's come up with some interesting solutions. The Washington Post reports that nearly 900 soldiers wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan have been saddled with government debts as they've recovered from the war. The report goes on to describe collection notices going out to veterans with brain damage, paralysis, lost limbs, and shrapnel wounds. Sounds fair to me. Dick Cheney releases stills from a new exercise video, Chin of Steel. Just like the net neutrality bill that got squashed in the House yesterday, the ethics scandal surrounding Jack Abramoff may be another issue that's too complicated to care about. Das Washington Post reports that Republican lawmakers pictured here having just kissed said that they felt free to pass a relatively tepid ethics bill because their constituents rarely mention the issue. Way to do your job, fellas. The Republican-sponsored bill set to be voted on today doesn't restrict lobbyists from giving gifts or food to representatives, nor does it increase the number of people set to enforce the lobbying rules. CNN reports that Democrats call for new energy laws but don't really say anything specific. Jim Clyburn, a representative from South Carolina, blamed the Bush White House for high gas prices, saying, quote, all he has to do is take a short trip to the nearest mirror and he will see what the problem with the prices at the pump. Got it. Go to a mirror and see what the problem with the prices at the pump. President Bush has been known for his nice pump. Republicans responded with a proposal that would give every American taxpayer a $100 rebate check to offset the higher pump prices for gasoline. Sounds awesome. What's the catch? No, it's nothing. Nothing. Really, it's nothing. The 100 bucks is packaged with a proposal to open the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge for exploration for drilling. So what? Beavers chop down trees too. Stupid beavers. Ponies. Ponies. Tony Snow quotes. Tony Snow quotes. <laughs> Tony Snow, the batter up White House press secretary, said on President Bush's strengths, quote, George Bush possesses a gambler's daring and patience. He loves to linger over a controversy until his adversaries fidget and sweat. Yes, it is difficult to distinguish who is stupid and who is strong. It comes down to the one who sweats the first. Having problem with sweating? Use underarm sweat protecting pads. If you're thinking about like advertising, that's how I would do it. I would like tie it in like seamlessly. Crayola announced that it will release a new crayon color in tribute to presidential aide Karl Rove. Crayola plans to call the color pasty ass white. And that's all that happened today. This is Zay Frank thinking so you don't have to. I leave you with the sports racer logo pick of the day. Sports racer, racing sports. What is your power move? Sports racer versus sports.